Good morning, everyone. Can we all hear me? All right, great. Can I just remove? Yeah, I want to see my presentation. Okay, um, my name is Rosalia Haufiku, as introduced. I am a NAS engineering student that is very passionate about tourism, and that is why I'm here today. So today I'm going to present on QR code integration for seamless guest interactions. Okay. This is my first time using this thing, so <laughs> please bear with me. All right, so this project I'm going to talk about today is a project that we are currently implementing at the NAST Hotel School. So my team and I are implementing at the NAST Hotel School. Um, so the challenges that we realized that uh, the NAST Hotel School is facing is the um, it, it's the, the, the booking process of it. So booking by paper, um, a lot of errors can happen, and a lot of um, bookings can be missed sometimes. So that is the challenge that we have, we have been tackling. So just before I go into the project, I just wanted to talk about, like yesterday we spoke about CASA, and this would be a great um, Inter integration into the casa as a lot of as like we said because of the green hydrogen and all these oil discoveries there are going to be a lot of SMEs that will be opening up in casa and this integration will be great for those SMEs I'll get there <laughs> so when we're looking at this project, we, we, we were looking at the kind of challenges that SMEs are facing. The number one challenge that the SMEs are facing is that they do not have the funds to um, pay for um, uh, booking management processes. So like Hansa Wald, um, Innkeeper, Nightbridge, those things cost money. Just for you to have an online presence where your um, guests can book their rooms online, it costs a lot of money, costing millions. And a lot of SMEs don't have millions to spend on um, a management process, right? So that those are the one of the challenges. Another challenge is that um, a lot of things can get lost, a lot of information can get lost in, in, in translation. When you make a booking by phone call, when you make a booking by, by email, a lot of information can get lost in translation, right? Um, also, in this world of, uh, this digital world that we are living in, if you do not have an online presence, you are missing out on a lot of clientele, right? And especially if, you don't have an automated system, you are going to miss out on a lot of clientele. So if you're, you own a hotel, you own an Airbnb, and you tell your client that, oh no, um, you have to call me so I can make your booking. You're going to miss out because I don't want to go through that. I don't want to call you and then send an email and then do all of that when I can just do that process once, right? Okay, so this, this project is the QR code. We are using a QR code for guests to basically scan the QR code and then get into a system where they can make their bookings. So this project is specifically for SMEs because it is very, very affordable. Um, so this, um, the SME has to have an existing website. But if you don't, just call me. I can make a way for you. <laughs> These SMEs have to have an existing website where we can add this, we can, this system can be an add-on to their website. Okay, so now I'm going to take you through the process of how this, um, the system works. So once a guest, once we have put on the system into your existing website and we have created for you the QR code, you then share your QR codes wherever, right? You share them on social media, you print them out in front of your facilities, you put them at uh, City of Windows somewhere, everywhere, at all the notice boards, right? And once the, the guest scans the QR code, they're then taken to a... Uh, user-friendly website, right? And then once they go into that user-friendly website, they're then met by uh, a booking form. All right. So this one is specifically for the NAS Hotel School, right? But it can be, it can be personalized. It can be customized for your needs. This is specifically for the 
nurse hotel school, as Ms. Lizzo wanted it. This is how we did it according to her specifications. Um, so once you scan the QR code, you get into a system, and then once you get there, it asks you whether you want to do accommodation reservation or conferencing. Right now, first, I'm going to speak about the accommodation reservations. Once you select the accommodation reservations, you are met by this uh, form titled Booker Room. Uh, you fill in your personal details, your phone number, your nationality, your name and everything. So your booking details as well. So your check-in date, check-out, the number of children, like we spoke about yesterday, charging by head, you know, all of those things. So then you have all of that information from the very beginning. And the good thing about this is that you cannot move on, the guests cannot move on to the next stage of the form unless they've filled in all the necessary information at the very beginning of, this, of the form. And this helps a lot of uh, the SMEs to build, to build the clientele. It also helps um, the tourism board to get the right stats for um, the guests that are coming into the country and whatnot. From this stage, we then move on. Let us just remember that these specifications are for the nurse hotel school. So after that, we have the room selection where you select the kind of room you want to stay in with their prices and all. Um, after that, here we have, you can request for airport shuttle. So you can either say, if you want airport shuttle, then it asks you for your arrival date, departure date, um, the airline, the flight number, and which airport you are landing at. And this information will help the staff uh, make the necessary arrangements for a shuttle to pick you up from the airport. From there, we then go to the... Um, the, f the mini fridge in your room. It's so frustrating getting to a hotel with a mini fridge and you have to request for them to bring the drinks into the room when you're just supposed to get there, especially when it's hot. You're supposed to get there and just have a chill drink, but now you still have to call them, then they have to go get the drink from the storeroom while it's so it's warm. Then they have to put it in the fridge and then you have to wait another hour or so for it to get cold. But with this system, specifically again for the Nassau Hotel School, um, you can request that your mini fridge be stocked before you get there. It's either, it's either you request for it or not. If you don't want, it's also fine because sometimes drinks there by the hotels can be, <coughs> can be very pricey. <laughs> so you can request and then once you say yes, that you want your mini fridge to be stocked, you get a drop down menu of all the um, beverages available at the, at, the, at the restaurant. You select your quantity and it also gives you the price of what is available. Once you have selected all of that, you then move on to the menu of the restaurant if you want to make a reservation for either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It also gives you the drop-down menu of everything available at, uh, on the menu at the Allo restaurant. This is, the Allo restaurant is at the Nas Hotel School. All right, now I've been talking on the, on the side of the guest, right? How the guest would do it. Now, when I'm coming to the staff of the SME now. So once the guest has filled in all of this information, the NAST Hotel School staff, now specifically for this one, um, gets a notification via email. Of, you can also get it via SMS, just an added uh, feature, but you get a notification that there has been a new booking, right? And in this booking, you get a uh, email confirmation. So these are my details, don't steal them, please. So you get the name, the email address, the phone number, check-in dates, check-out dates, all the necessary information that you need to make the necessary arrangements. This allows for the, the, the staff to, to arrange everything, right? Um, we have been t I've been speaking to Ms. Lizal and she had told me that sometimes the process of booking can take from 24 to 72 hours when it's by phone, because then they say, okay, the, the the guests will send you their name, right? And their check-in and check-out date. And that's all they send you. Now you have to send them another email. Uh, what kind of room do you want? Then you have to wait for them to respond. And then, then they have to wait for you to respond. And it's just a back and forth. But with this system, it's once they fill in all the information, it's, you get all the necessary information at once. And I've been speaking about uh, the accommodation reservation. And like we spoke yesterday again about Keza, Kaza, sorry, um, there are going to be a lot of meetings. You know, the green hydrogen, the oil, they're going to come there and they'll be making the meetings. So we have the conferencing department. In the conferencing department, um, again, you get into the system using the QR code or 
on the website itself, you get into the system and it allows you to conference to book a conference room. So at the beginning again of the form, they ask you for all the information that is necessary. So the requester name, last name, telephone number, the organization that um, the conference is for. Um, again, you cannot move on to the next stage unless you have filled in the necessary information. This just allows the staff to have all the information they need, you know, just to avoid errors. So after that, you uh, choose whether it's conference, it's a conference or it's a personal event. Um, now, once you have chosen this, at the Nassau Tower School, they have five conference rooms, right? So then you have an option to choose which conference room you would like to use. And also, whether it's a half day, if it's a full day, when the conference is, start when the conference is starting, when it's ending, the number of delegates that will be at the conference. It allows you to um, also choose the seating arrangement. What kind of seating arrangement do you want? Is this, this seating arrangement? I think this is called a classroom arrangement? Yes. Cinema, sorry. The cinema arrangement, classroom. Uh, I don't know what the U-shaped one is called. But yes, they are there. The seating arrangements are there. So then you would choose what seating arrangement you'd like. And it also g tells you how many people would fit in what seating arrangement and in which boardroom. After all of this, of course, we need snacks. Because I'm not coming for a conference if there's no food. So then it also allows you to choose which kind of refreshments you'd like. They give you the drop-down menu of the things that are available for conferencing. Um, they, so then you choose whatever you'd like. Um, and then, okay, that's all. And then you also put down any equipment you need. So for a PA system, you need a PA system, you need a laptop, you need a whatever you need, whatever equipment you need. Also, if there's any additional services that you might need, they, you can also just put that down there. And again, I would like to mention that this, it makes it so much easier for the staff to get the, the booking in order within 24 hours instead of going back and forth, back and forth. Again, just before I move on to this one, it allows them, it, 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 once it's submitted, once the form is submitted, it, they get an not, uh, email notification, it goes to the right people, and then they can make the necessary arrangements. Now, um, obviously, as an SME, you depend on the feedback from your clients to make your service better. So then the, the, um, the guests can go back into the same QR code or into the same link, and they can leave a, a feedback. They can leave feedback, whether for conferencing or for for the room, for the room they, they stayed in. I also like to mention, unfortunately, I think I missed the slide. It it also has um, a special request form, where if you are in your room um, and you would like to request for something, let's say room service or laundry, it allows you to go into the QR code and you just request, and the people come to your room because nobody wants to leave their room when they just came from a long journey, right? So yes, this is the QR code integration for seamless guest interactions. And this is the project that my team and I have been working on. Thank you very much. <laughs>